Hi Scorpios, thank you for viewing Searchlight Tarot. My name is Elena. Welcome in or welcome back. I am doing your general spread. I'm going to get some cards right now for the strongest energies around you. If it sounds like your energies are what you're going through, this is your reading. It's good for all placements for the beautiful sign of Scorpios. All right, let's just see what they want to show me for the current energies around you right now. For Scorpio spirit guides, show me the cards I need to see. Thank you for the strongest energies for the sign of Scorpios. This reading is for today. Anything else? Anything? I heard I heard going with the flow in my head. I don't know why, but let us see. Underneath the deck, I have aloneness, but there's a light around you. I think you're starting to see the light about things. Um, it's a very beautiful card. This is the Osha Zen Tarot, and I start to feel a lot from the cards, and it's how I it's how I do my readings. But I feel that you're coming out of a place where maybe you felt that you didn't have the light you needed around you. Because underneath that, I have celebration. I'm just going to take a few and participation. Like, things are starting to come together for you. That's really what I feel. Like, things are starting to come together for you, and you're ready to take a new leap of faith towards something, because I saw the fool. I have politics. Everybody's been getting this card, and I'm just going to say, and it has to do with, oh, yeah, exhaustion. Like, you're tired of playing. If this is your reading, Scorpios, it's like you're literally leaving BS behind you, and I just feel that right now, you're coming out of a place where I'm really exhausted from dealing with other people in games and politics. It's like you're not playing the game anymore. You're not because right in front of me I have harmony. Coming back into harmony with yourself and you have an immense amount of patience. That is a big card. Patience. Right there. I always take the cards in the order I receive them and this is just telling me that right now you're coming back into a lot of harmony with yourself and other people with a lot of patience and I think you're just you're done with politics with anybody or anything. You are starting to see the light. It's coming all around you right now, that aloneness card. You're like literally coming back into the light from whatever you've been going through with a lot of patience. Beautiful. I'm going to look at your recent past a little bit, then what is coming in for you in the next few weeks, then love crossing towards the end. Spirit guides, recent past a little bit for the sign of Scorpios. Thank you. Why are these here in their current energies? What else do you want to show me? Thank you, Spirit. Anything else? Two of Pentacles in the deck. I saw the way that card flew. Three of Cups. Six of Swords in the world. Recently in the past, you just got tired of fight. Sorry, tired of going back and forth about something. Your stability. I have uh, the Lovers, big Gemini energy. I have it with the Chariot. Um, that is two big major arcana. So recently in your past, I feel you started coming into an energy of the Chariot. And it has to do with things that you feel have been a divine counterpart of your life or person. You started getting the will and determination to move forward because you were tired of being juggling your finances or stability. I have the six of coins and received. Oh, a six of coins upright. Why did I say is received? Four of cups, queen of wands, and five of swords sideways. Well, coming into your current energies, this is a card about you thinking about how much have you received? And that's really what I feel. Are you, you've been really thinking. I feel that you've been putting something out there with love about receiving something. It has to do with money, stability, finances, getting a lot of will and determination to move forward. But with the Queen of Wands sideways and the Five of Wands, you got tired of fighting. That Queen of Wands upright is the Queen of Who Fights. Uh, not like fist fights, but a lot of fire energy. You know, very intuitive energy. You got tired of fighting with people. You, started, you got tired of the politics. Like you just, you're all about harmony right now with a ton of patience, Scorpios, and uh, Spirit wants me to tell you, well, hold on, things are coming together for you, participation and rejoice and celebration. All right, I'm going to look at what is coming in for you, and then I'll do a uh, love crossing. Um, who do I want to use today? I'm drawn over here. I don't know why. I have to be fair. That is karmic justice stepping in to balance the scales that have been around you that have been a little out of whack. All right, Spirit Guides, everything's going to be balanced. That's a lot of harmony right there. 
Spirit Guide's strongest incoming energies for my beautiful Scorpios in the next week to two weeks. Thank you. Anything else you want to show me for Scorpios? Messages? Oh, look at that one. When I said messages, look what popped out. A new life with going to harmony, going to the sea. Oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Underneath the deck is I do have the fates with peace. You guys, it's all telling me the same thing. Basically, it's telling me that you're, you are in your vehicle. You're going to calmer waters towards new beginnings, new starts, new redos. Something is coming in for you. It's something that is faded. Maybe it's a person, a situation. It's part of your destiny, and it's going to bring you to the island of peace. Let's see what they got, though. I got a big change in the wind coming in. Oh, I love this card. We're going into Aquarius season, and retrograde is going to be over soon enough. You know, um, this is telling me in the next few weeks, there's a big change coming in. Big change in the winds. And it's going to get you back on top, leg back up. You guys, this is beautiful. And the last card they gave me is Orphaned. You know, this is an energy telling me that stop, don't put yourself into a place where you once were. Because you're about to get a big change coming in and it's going to push you back up on top. Don't allow anything to bring you back into a space of feeling, wow, this is a rough. They want to tell you, you got everything coming in for you. You're heading in. It's the, it's the boat going towards a new, new start of everything in your life, Scorpios. New beginnings. Um, and I have something with that is coming in that is part of your destiny. It's part of something that is fated for you. It's going to bring you to a place of peace. Fated, not faded. All right, let's get some cards right in front of me, I feel. And then I'll look at Love Crossing. I just want to confirm just a few cards for my beautiful Scorpio spirit. Leg back up and a change in the wind. You are about to get back up on top of a game and it's going to happen fast out of nowhere. I feel with Orphan, they want you to stay in the positive energy of climbing back on top to your mountain. That's what I feel. Spirit Guide's strongest incoming cards and messages for Scorpios about these oracles. What do you want to tell Scorpios, please? Thank you. Anything else? Perfect. Two of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. All right, you guys. The Nine of Swords is a card of the only nighttime anxiety that may come in in the next few weeks is because you're concerned about your stability. But I'm going to say something to you. Spirit is saying, no, no worries. We got you. We got you. You got the Six of Cups and I have it with the Fool. That's starting over. Taking a new leap of faith. Someone's coming into your life to help you. You're about to receive something. It's going to make you feel like the boss again. That's probably why they're telling you to be careful how you handle certain type of power you're about to receive in the incoming energies. Because you're about to receive. It's going to push you. It's going to push you towards something. Two of Wands, it's a card of you moving forward. I have it with justice sideways and patience is sideways. How you balance and blend something in the incoming energies, it's really up to you because everything does want to play out in your favor and it's going to push you forward. One card left. A big strength and courage. This is big Leo energy. Big lion. Big major arcana. You guys have strength, temperance, justice. You're, everything, some, you're about to receive something that's going to balance everything out in your life. How you handle this new power you're about to get is up to you. Spirit is saying that everything wants to play out in your favor. It's going to be pushing you forward to wipe your board clean. Start over. Take a new leap of faith. Take a risk. You know, it's beautiful energy. Very carefree energy. Spirit is saying you have the strength and courage. i got to be Leo coming in here. All right, so that is absolutely beautiful, you guys. It's taken you to a place of peace. Um, I feel that everything in our life is about divine timing and how quick and fast we learn from it. But you got the board clean. You got the pool. Two messages for Scorpio spirit. And then I'll roll into love crossing. Spirit guides, two messages. It always ties my readings together. Two cards, please. Thank you. For the sign of Scorpio's. If you can tell Scorpios anything today, thank you. I know I got one more. Any, anything else you want to tell the sign of Scorpios? Anything else? No, I guess not. Perfect. All right, this is what they gave me. Oh, I knew I, I saw purple. I knew I was going to see a purple one. 
They gave you the star, all right? Big, beautiful, major arcana. Aquarius. A dream come true. They want you to believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. Come on, Scorpios. All right, that was beautiful. I have the four of Ariel. I like this card. When you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change. Extremes in how you save or spend money. Listen, this is extremes in everything. This is why spirit is saying, have the strength and courage, okay, to fight whatever anxiety you have. Balance everything. Be a little patient because justice is coming in. It's time for you to move forward and have faith and strength that you're about to take a new leap of faith. You're starting over. You're going, you're just, it's like new journeys. 2023, you know. But I'm going to roll into Love Crossing. If you're not dealing with anyone, please remember to hit the like button. Thank you, Scorpios, for all your love and support. All right, Love Crossing. I'm going to ask, I'm going to do the Celtic Cross Tarot, and I don't know why, but it's yelling at me. Okay, uh, it's temperance. I'm going to ask for the strongest Love Crossing energies, you guys. These may not all be your persons, you know. Um, Spirit Guide, strongest Love Crossing temperance. Very patient person. Um, knows how to go around the obstacles. Oh. Tell me a little bit about the strongest love crossing. Thank you. Thank you. Energies. Thank you, Spirit. Strongest love crossing for the sign of Scorpios. Anything else? Oh, well, they're, they're the wounded warrior. Oh, they've been taking a big time out doing some healing. Uh, Four of Swords is a card of healing, rest, rejuvenation, let it be. They basically have just, they don't want, they don't want, they don't want to fight anymore. I don't, I don't, if you've been fighting with somebody. I have the sun and the chariot. They're getting more optimism about when to come in towards you. They're starting to use their intuition a little bit more. The chariot uses no emotion. Page of Cups, Six of Swords, King. They want to come in. I feel, I haven't even seen the cards yet. This is what I got. I feel like it's someone who is listening to their intuition right now about when to come in towards you, but they're still wounded about something. They're still letting things be till the sun shines again, meaning they come into a more positive energy. Temperance in reverse, Nine of Swords in reverse. Well... I saw temperance under the deck, so it's Sagittarius, but that is telling me someone has lost patience and they're starting to have a lot of, something is still eating at their brain at night, meaning there's a situation they need to resolve before I even see the cards. I got the big king of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, but it doesn't have to be. It's just telling me about the energies, a very detached king, very detached king standing up for something with their truth, their honesty, their integrity. And they've been very withdrawn trying to find their answers. Am I right? Am I doing the right thing by standing up for this? Am I, am I, the, the hermit is Virgo, but it's very spiritual energy. That's why I feel when they feel the time is right, I felt they were wounded and taking a time out from something. When they feel that when the sun shines again in their world, they'll know how to come in towards you but right now this is someone who's been very withdrawn i felt it earlier but i'm going to ask what their intentions are for you i just want to see because that's what i've been doing lately and it's been kind of interesting for i never know how to choose four swords under the deck with the six of cups big leo four swords is someone who's letting things be their intentions towards you are they can't forget you you are a part of them the six of cups is Two souls that have known each other many lifetimes. Spirit guides. What are their intentions? Thank you. Towards my Scorpios. Tell me the cards I need to see, please. True intentions towards Scorpio. Strongest crossing energies. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else right now? Their intentions? Well, their intentions are an ace of cup, but they're being very stubborn. What do I have here? And chariot sideways. I told you, ain't some, it's somebody, they're not, because they're still wounded. It's the same cards. It's the nine of wands with the chariot sideways. It's a cancerian energy, but it's someone who is still, but has heard about something and they're, they're being stubborn. It's like the old saying, they're cutting their nose off to spite their face right now. 
Yeah, right now. You know how that's, you know. <laughs> Knight of Wands, Page of Wands, a lot of beautiful fire energy. I'm going to take just a few cards and we're done. But that knight is the hot pony and it's the Page of Wands, meaning that basically the horse has left the corral for a little bit. They, uh, whoever you've been dealing with, I feel, is just unsure about everything. They're letting things be because what they want is they want the truth. They want an ace of truth. They want to speak the truth. They're starting to see something with a new truth. And they're going to come back in towards you. I'm just telling you. When they feel they're back into the sun. And then they'll talk to you, the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Communication, with their Scorpio. Hey, Scorpio. Yeah. Could be at a distance. They're going to want to start new chapters and there's the King of Wands. So I'm right on the money. Their intentions towards you, when they feel like everything is shining again in their world, when they feel good, you know, the sun is big, big energy and it's Leo, but it's just someone who, when they come back into their own sun, you know, um, I say right now, just let it be until this Capricorn retrograde goes by because they want to transform something here with you. You know, they think about it all the time. You know, I really do feel that. But there's things around them right now that chapters are being closed and new beginnings will begin. Once this retrograde bypasses the beginning of February, watch. Next time I do your reading, it's going to be the Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, the Knight of Romance, the Three of Pentacles. We'll see. Two weeks. I'll check back. Week and a half. All right, you guys, this is what I have for you. Thank you for viewing me. If it helped you and it resonated, please remember to hit the like button. Thank you. Wishing you all many beautiful blessings and have a beautiful day.